pretty bitch some. Take it how you wanna. I put it on my mama. I heard around town I'm the baddest ever. Bitches love saying how they face it. Guys, I am so excited right now. Um, after I was done recording my Q&A series for my mommy makeover, I got a knock at the door and my Faha from Tributo or Tributo came in the mail and I am going to try this on with you guys as soon as I'm done showering and running around doing errands. I will definitely be trying it on with you guys and I am praying that this fits me because I will legit cry. I even bought an extender just in case. So I will see you guys in a little bit so we can try this on together. Now that I'm back, I what I'm decided to do ignore my daughter she's having the time of her life right now so i'm gonna do a try on haul with you guys and then later on i'm going to show you guys what it looks like with the phones on i got the model number 1001 and it came in this little care package i'm assuming when you you're not really supposed to wash it but uh i will be washing it in this bag i got it in the color black and this looks so tiny but we're gonna try it on and see if this my camera died guys so i took off all the tags already and i am going to put my backboard in i had to put it on obviously i didn't want you guys seeing my little goodies i'm gonna put the backboard in my surgeon said that i do not need to have lipo foams on the side anymore or in the back i can just have my backboard and add boards and be fine we will see how that goes if i feel like i need the lipo foams i definitely will put them on um i know i need the lipo foams in the front because the ab board it like pushes down on my crotch area where the incision is so i definitely need one there for sure like putting a lipo foam in the front for me right now since I did get a tummy tuck is a must. I don't know how dolls are with a BBL if they can get away with not putting foam in the front but I know I can't. That ish hurts for sure. Put this hook in really quick. And I'm so used to corsetting so i don't mind it squeezing the life out of me i just need to make sure that it doesn't um squeeze my incisions that is the main issue that i would have with this so far so good make sure everything is all good and in place got my ad board here i don't know why it's so bent <laughs> whatever um, Put this in before I put any more hooks on here. I'm looking in my mirror, guys. So if I'm not always centered to you guys, it's because I'm looking at my mirror right here. Alright. You know, here comes the fun part. Who oh. child? I need a break. <laughs> I need a break. All right, so duke it out here. What dolls have been telling me is the initial try on is usually the hardest because it didn't form to your body yet, which I clearly see because <laughs> I am struggling for dear life right now. I'm like sweating. I'm sweating. Sometimes I cut lipo foam and I put it right here. I'm gonna see if I need it today because as you guys know, I got a breast lift and implants as well. So my incision down here, I don't want anything irritating it. So if I have to put like padding here, then I will. And I'm taking these breaks and talking to you because this shit is like a fucking workout. Almost there guys, almost there. Thank God I don't have my acrylics on right now because I would definitely snap a lot of them. Trying this tributo on. I'm gonna have to take another shower after this. <laughs> I'm probably gonna have to phone a husband right now. I'm probably gonna have to phone my husband real quick because I am struggling. Whew. I'm gonna do this. I am an independent woman. <laughs> uh, 
Mind you, I have an extender for this. So imagine if I didn't get the extender, I would legit not even attempt to put this on. I don't even think it would fit. Thank goodness I bought an extender because it wouldn't fit if I didn't have one. This top part is usually the easiest part to hook, but the way my fingers are cramping up and doing whatever it's doing right now, I need a break. Okay, almost done guys. And just like that. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, here it is. Back side. I do have my backboard in. There is no way in hell that I was fitting any side lipo phones. I'm glad I got the one in the front, even though it makes my crotch look a little poofy. This. Uh, Tributal does not have a zipper. It has this little flap thing for the crotch. I don't know if because this is a semi custom that my crotch hole doesn't go all the way to my butthole, but I'm gonna have to take this off every time I need to take a poop. I'm gonna find a seamstress or something to cut some more of the hole. It's not bad. I like it. It's cute or whatever. We'll see how I am in a couple of hours. This one definitely sucks me in. I like the rods on here. You guys can see. I believe this is a high compression, has the six rods. I can't count all of that. I can't even see back there. My surgeon, Dr. K, he said it was okay for me to have this on. Like I said, he said it was okay for me not to have the side lipo foams and just see how I am throughout the day. If it starts to hurt, then he's all like, you know what, listen to your body, take it off and put your snatched body faha back on and just compress with more lipo foams and all that other good stuff. I will see you guys next time for week three post-op update. And we're gonna do a try on haul. It's going to be faha friendly, drain friendly, tall girl friendly, whatever friendly as soon as my package comes so definitely stay tuned for that guys i appreciate you guys i love you guys i will see you guys next time Bye.